Amber and Tyler, Peoria educators, tell us the numbers you are about to see are just a single snapshot into one day of a student's school career. And despite the low data results, it is not taking into consideration what else could be happening in a student's home life. 1% of students at Manuel High School, 3% at Peoria High, and 31% of students at Richwoods are reading at grade level, according to new state numbers for the past academic year. Across the entire district, however, just 5% of black students, 13% of Hispanics, and 37% of whites are reading at their grade levels. Five of every 100 black children at the Peoria uh, district can read at grade level. And in many schools, it's just one out of every hundred. So for me, it's impossible for Peoria to be successful, for Peoria to have a great workforce, for Peoria to thrive if our kids can't read, if our kids can't do math. Ted Dabowski with WirePoint is on a tour throughout the state highlighting a gap in educational achievement. During his stop in Peoria, he broke down these latest numbers, showing public school students right here in the city are not reaching the state's benchmarks. If a child can't read at grade level in the third grade, he or she won't have success. They'll have struggled to do English in the fifth grade, science in the seventh grade. And if once they lose their ability to keep up in class, they act up, they don't focus, and it's really hard for them to get back into the game. Is at the end of the day, we're schools. We want our children to be successful. Beth Kreider, the regional superintendent for Peoria County, says these numbers don't paint the full picture. Sometimes when you reduce them to a number, that's when it doesn't make sense. So yes, you need to look at their academic achievement, but you also have to look at did they come to school with food in their belly? Did they sleep well? Do they live in a safe neighborhood? Um, the parents. This sentiment is also echoed by Peoria Public Schools Superintendent Dr. Sharon Karat, who says this report should also take into consideration racism and classism that contributes to this problem. According to the City of Peoria's Joint Commission report from 2022, less than 40% of students are even ready for kindergarten. Math scores showing similar numbers and the truancy rates skyrocketing. The experts say for many of these students, learning is the last thing on their mind. We need to look at the whole child. Are they physically well? Do they have access to good health care? Are they eating? Is there a food desert? Are they being supported with nutrition? Were they ready for the test? Were they ready that day? Did they sleep well? Did they eat breakfast? So there's so many things that happen on one day of the year that go into these school report cards and you really don't get a true picture of what's going on over the course of the whole year. Michael Murphy, who attended Wednesday's presentation and is a father of four students in District 150, says there is one key solution that could help reverse all of this. If we can get volunteers to come in and help do reading programs or be mentors, um, I think that that's something that would really make a really positive change and impact on the success of our students. Wire points also study test scores from Taswell and Woodford counties. We're waiting for those breakdowns and we'll add them to this web story on our website. Just last week, Governor J.B. Prisker signed a bill into law to address the needs of the whole child, in part through the lens of trauma-informed teaching and learning. Amber, Tyler.